outside and the settings <laughs> look a lot like Cabin in the Woods that I just saw. <laughs> but um, it's October 12th, 2012. This will be my 13th movie review for tomorrow since I will be going to Sam's. Today, my movie review is. Yeah. Is Cabin in the Woods. And let's just say. Everyone was making a big deal about nothing. They all were saying, oh, it's so scary. Oh, it's. And I get scared so easily. Oh, it's the creepiest thing ever. Oh, my God. Okay. You got zombies. Whippy freaking dude. You seen one zombie, you seen them all. What is that awful noise? It's quite annoying. But anyway, so in the cat, so it's a movie in a movie, basically, with lots of, no, not just zombies, there's other creepy things, and, and it's about where, to save the earth, they need five souls. They need the jock, the, the, the slut the crazy dude and the smart dude and then the virgin but they need to make an exception since this girl isn't a virgin and blah 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 the girl that was in um, Ghostbusters the one that got possessed and had the baby she's in this and it's basically once they get to the cabin it's like this movie thing now the elevator thing is creepy you're going to get scared at the elevator thing. Then they had this, then it was kind of like a Hellraiser where they took this claw and it was, had this long thing, chain on it. And you take it and go like this and wrap it on the gut person's back and drag them with it on their skin. That made my skin crawl. I couldn't, I, I can't deal with that scene. Ugh, it's like cabin fever and the shaving. Uh-uh, no, no. But it's not a bad movie. It was good. Yes, there's a clown in there, but I don't know why people were freaking about the clown. All the clown did was had a knife and he was going, hee hee hee, ho ho ho, hee hee hee, and just laughing and goofing and having a great time. And then he kills you. I mean, that ain't fucking scary. But I can't tell you exactly what happens or exactly who lives or the situation. I just... It, it's hard to explain the movie without giving it away because that's the type of movie it is. But if you haven't seen Cabin in the Woods, go see it. It's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Is it good enough to buy the movie? Probably not. Is it good enough to rent it? Yes. But it's not good enough to buy the movie, to be honest. But, um, I just, I wish it had some special features, like the makings of all of it, because that's kind of neat, how they, there's, there's one part that's my favorite part, it's when, before they even get to the cabin, where the guy, he is smoking a bong, but it doesn't look like a bong, but it is a bong, but it doesn't, it looks like coffee cup and it's just long but when he's not smoking it he takes the bottom part and he puts it up into the cup and oh my god it's it's now a coffee cup it's like what the hell that's like genius you could have a bong and not even you know cops wouldn't even know it I mean genius idea how they made that I don't know anyways it's windy I'm gonna get back into the house but it's pretty nice out Tomorrow will be nice too, and I will have a vlog of me shopping at Sam's. So if you want to see that soon, comment down below and beg me for it, and I'll get it up sooner than anything. Till then, have fun watching me dance to a friend of mine's music. <laughs>